afternoon, my spiry friend. It's time for some of that spire. Dun dun dun. We have the silent. We have no cards because vintage. We have curses because cursed run. And we have night terrors, which I guess can be used to make me not die in situations where I will die. Which I suppose could be good. That's fine. Is this a reference to um, Garth Nix's Sabriel series? Because that's not a bad reference, even though this person is clearly a cheater. <sighs> Do I have... I don't actually know these people. Where's the one I recognize? Let me guess, it's... Oh god, these these are all names I don't recognize. It's, it's Blim and Hexaghost. It's Hexaghost and everyone who tried the clever strats suffered because of them. And there's Vorpal, who I recognize, finally. This is troublesome. Let's go in with... Um, A bit of courage and a bit of sense. How much common sense can I bring to this run? Well, there's there's full question rooms and a shop there and a slime boss. And and you know what? That's that's gonna be the path everyone else took <laughs> and died. Yeah. Let's go a little bit. Let's take the left one. Yeah. I am dumb, but I will be smart when I'm dumb. Come on, this is silent with extra energy. Even though I'm never going to see a card, there's bound to be something of use at some point. That elite, whatever it is, I probably won't perfect. But... But, I might be able to use the contents of these question rooms to fortify myself, unless it's just all enemies. That would be quite annoying. All I have is strikes, defense, and survivor. That's not very much, is it now? That's going to help and unhelp. Oh, I was. Uh, this was the right choice. I get a shop in a question room right before the elite. I could buy a ghost in a jar. I could also buy pen nib. Maybe that's a that's a boost that will that will see me over a couple of a couple of things. That's a debuff which will help. This is backstab which will help in Act One. It will allow me to maybe get past things I would not otherwise get past. I have two curses now. And I will stab the back one. They are now in a situation where I can just kill them. Two defends is enough. Uh, one, two, one, two, throw. Crippling Cloud. Neutralize Strike. Survivor. Defend. Defend. That's annoying. At least Clumsy is the best curse. Neutralize. Strike. Okay, that's good. I'm not weak. So I can actually kill things that I want to. I will continue not to be weak. And my next attack will just kill. Good. Now that is good. That I like. 
That would seem to be a nice way to do things. I don't know if I want Sneaky Strike all prepared. I think... Playing an attack that is free is better than sometimes... Unupgraded prepared is bad. Upgraded prepared is very good. There's a distinctness to these two to these two options. There's something distinctly applicable about Sneaky Strike to this situation. And four energy is just nice. Right, I have to go to this shop because I, w I have to to get to that elite. And also because I want I just want cards. If I have cards, I can kill things. If I don't have cards, I cannot kill things. It's as simple as that. Happy flower, that's far from the worst relic in the world. So these are not useful. This is useful. That is also useful. Oof. That's hard. That's harsh. I have to pick between some honestly good things. I will take footwork because it will make my defense not terrible. Since they are the on the only tools I have to play defense are defense. Being able to to not worry about this fact is a good thing. However, I am not perfecting a gremlin knob with just defense. That is not a thing that will be happening today. I have two doubts. Okay, dodge and roll is synergistic with footwork. Upgrades are synergistic with footwork. I, maybe I should have done neutralize, but footwork was the choice I made. I can upgrade neutralize anyway in the next campsite. More relics, that's not bad. So footwork is now a, a free card a, a, and a very valuable choice. I enjoy it when my choices are good. When aren't my choices good? Upgraded Neutralize is incredibly strong, because two weak is a lot more than one. Not quite sure how I'm going to do this. Okay, he's not actually weak this turn. That is not good. So I have to switch him at 60. Okay, I can I can do 30 damage to things sometimes. I think. Hmm. Can I deal 28 damage to things? Yes. Yes, I can. Reduce the number of things attacking me and succeed. Oh, hang on. I should have played that one. I, it wouldn't have been enough. Okay. I'll figure this one out. I actually have a solution to the problem. Very straightforward. Drink this. Have extra cards to play on turn one. Now when he goes on to 
Now he goes Slime Crush, and I have... Hmm. Well, I have options. I can get him down to 54, which is a li little more easy to deal with. Now I have to do slightly less damage to get past these fools. Very, very slightly. I'm not sure I'm in a good position still. Hit you with that. Hit me with that, hit me with that, hit me with that, hit me with that. I'm not safe. Stuff is going to hurt me. Okay. Alright then, how do I do this? What methodology do I employ to end the life of Slime Boss as simply as possible? Throw this now. Hit them with that now. That one now. Sneaky Strike is free. Drink this. Throw out that. Oh, okay. So that doesn't change much, except the turn that he changes is earlier. Which, I should say, does not help. Uh, this doesn't... I don't know. Does this does this feel possible? What if I don't drink my potion on turn 1? What if I save it for a turn where I really need it? Throw this. That seems to be a strong start. Even if I have to waste my sneaky strike there. Do I have it in me to take this attack? Probably not. But I can get it down to 50. That's not bad. If I can find another attack, I can get him down even further. Well, I can't do that. Well, that's a shame, but it was a good experiment. So 42. That is something that I can handle, I think. Neutralize. Defend. Strike. Strike. Exhaust. And I can't deal with that somehow. For some reason, I cannot cope with that situation. There is something I just need to try that's slightly different then, which is, uh, saving. Oh no, I didn't do the thing. I didn't do the thing. I'm an idiot. The thing I didn't do was the thing. Ah, nuts. So now he's down to a much less easy to deal, to deal with number. 48. Hmm. That's better though, because I can do 20 to you, get rid of you entirely, get rid of that. I'm frail, and I've wasted my blimmin' life again! I, can I not just count? Can I not count to four? Is that not allowed? Is that... Between nunchucks and the, and the happy flower, I've got a lot of spare energy. That's pretty nice. I'll have to think about how to use that best. Footwork, strike, doubt. Then we go strike, strike, doubt, strike. Interrupted, down to 42, which is a fine number. Now I do have to play, drink this potion. That gives me all the tools I need. I neutralize, sneaky strike regular strike. Defend, defend. I 
don't waste my time doing daft things. What I do is strike, 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 slimed. <laughs> I'm fine now. I'm frail, but I have to, and I have to play that on this, and that, and that to get through. Actually, he's interrupted. Can I handle two slimes doing eight damage each? No. I need to redo this, but the solution is very straightforward. Just don't split the spike slime. Good old slime boss. Oh, I like I like slime boss having his music. How sad. It just goes to show. It just goes to show. I need more powers is what I need. They would be lovely to have. Oh, did I? No, I I did. I did something. Whatever. Whatever it is I did, it worked. Oh, I should have got rid of that. So you're not being split this turn. I will split you on this turn when my attacks are significant. Kill you. Dodge and roll. And kill you. Do I want... No, I don't need those cards. These do not assist my deck with the things that my deck needs. If I took the... Hmm. If I were to take the astrolabe, I could turn my doubts into something more productive. Let's do that. Let's try and get some cards that aren't as bad as doubts. In the hopes that I can get curses, but also Highlander. And I will take my strike and turn it into something. So what's this? <laughs> Fine. Uh, two rides instead of two doubts. And a distraction, which honestly isn't very good, but it could be it could turn into a into a bullet time occasionally. So I want question rooms. That looks like a route with some good question rooms. That looks like a route with some really good question rooms. Four, four, ooh, that's many. That is several question rooms, but that is a guaranteed shop. But that many question rooms is as good as a guaranteed shop. Okay, now I just need Centennial Puzzle. Ride can actually be good if you have a Centennial Puzzle. Could have played those backwards. Okay, that's cheap. Cheap and cheerful. I'm cheerful, certainly. Neko Skull. I don't really have Poison Synergy, but I'm sure I'll find some. 
No. No, that defeats the, the object. Transform two cards or get jacked. I've got a lot of health, courtesy of the curses. It might be useful. Or I could acquire a centennial puzzle. Did I seriously take the left path? Oh, wait, no, because the left path has two elites. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dumb. I'm not dumb, actually. What I am expressing is surprise that I'm not dumb. I am not able to perfect these guys, no matter how hard I try. That's unfortunate. Perish, 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 perish. Perish, 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 perish. Okay, a random skill is not explicitly good. But not drawing a doubt and being ruined by it is honestly handy, even though it wasn't that important. I wonder if I changed one, if that would have been better. Maybe the base is the change of what the initial card is, and thus picking two doubts got me two of the same cards. I don't see that very often. It's because there aren't many curses in the curse pool. That would be more likely. Uh, Bouncing Flask is a lot of damage, considering I have Sneko Eye. Upgraded Bouncing Flask is a lot of damage, considering I have Sneko Eye. Oops, I should have exhausted that. It's fine. I should have played those in a different order. It's still fine. That's really fine. Blomp, 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 blomp. Okay, apparently we dislike clerics today. <laughs> apparently clerics have found their way onto the kill list. Silly cleric. Okay, that's a shame. I like having that. Am I going to be able to get anywhere? That is a most excellent question. I am not going to be able to get here. Because I do not have the defense. Wait, yes I do! I have the defense required! Yes, because I weakened him! I'm genius. No, uh, forget, forget everything I said. I'm actually just a genius who forgets that he's a genius sometimes. That said, 12 is a, a bit much. I can do 11. Ink bottle. Never mind! Never mind! I'm a genius! That was all planned! <laughs> 15 incoming. Hey, I can handle that without pretending to be smart. The courier. That's pleasant. Heel hook synergizes quite nicely. A distilled chaos is preferable to a strength potion. Why be strong when you can just play cards and not die? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's a real thought? Maybe that's not a stupid thing to think? Mm. 
more powers, please. More shops. More opportunities to spend my vaguely present money on things that are helpful. Cards that respond well to Penniv. All of the above. Things that are just useful to me. Uh, burst, defend. I like having a burst in my deck, especially if I don't even have to put it in my deck. Question card. A very um, bullying kind of reward. Ooh! <laughs> I could give them my distraction, which isn't a very good card. Uh, but I, I think I need the distraction to... Uh... You know, to, to be able to, to sometimes ca catch victories I wouldn't have had otherwise. So let's give them a defend instead. <laughs> and lose victories I would have had otherwise. See, this distraction turns into a backflip, which is better than the defend I gave away. I could have drawn a defend instead, and then I wouldn't have had a backflip. See, it's perfect logic. I believe in the rabbit ha the rabbit hat of luck more than I believe in the defend of strength and I should have played footwork but it's fine. These are not going to do very much damage to me. Who's waiting here? Oh, the champ. Well, that's terrible. I'm going to be killed. Maybe if I draw a bunch of attacks and I find something really clever to do. Uh Choose a card to add to my deck. Okay. You could give me something really good. Facing Whale is really good. Dash is pretty decent for defensive purposes. Do I have a way of escalating? Not really. I have a way of <laughs> playing some defense sometimes and maybe not dying. Blade Dance is strong with my strength buff, which is not nothing. It does kind of push. It kind of pushes the uh, the pen nib along, so I could use that. I didn't think I would be getting a defend today. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do that because I am not convinced that I can beat Champ through normal means, even though I definitely can't perfect him through any means. I would like to make the fight look good, even if I don't actually perfect it. See, I'm alive. That might not have happened without the potions. I'm I'm willing to use that to justify my failure. What would a runic dome do for me? N not a lot, honestly. Um, there are a couple of instances where I could save a defend for later. You know what? Let's have it. I can get rid of my curses, so Runic Dome isn't actually bad. I can I can take three elites on this floor. Do I want to though? Oh, that is most. That is a very exciting question to ask. 
Do I want to go down the path with three elites? Will it cause me success or will I die stupidly? What a wonderful question to be asking oneself. That is a pain. It isn't actually a... Not like it's a it, it is a pain. It's not a pain. It's fine. I'm happy to have it. It's, I'm glad it's not a doubt or a frail. Look at that. My poison is actually taking off. I'm surprisingly. I'm actually glad I have the Sneko skull, even though my deck is tiny and made of poo. Don't need to play cards. Fossilized Helix. Now that is interesting and quite irritating. Become cursed, right? Oh, really? I don't want to do any of those things. You know how I was saying I can get rid of my curses? Well, now I've got something that stops me from doing that. Isn't that just wonderful? I also have a blade dance that can kill any target. Anything I like. Except, thank god it's the Awakened One. The Awakened One is at least simple. That's really, really annoying. This is an opportunity to get cards that I wouldn't have otherwise. Um, I don't want a rare card, just by how cool it would look. So let's take Discovery and Flash of Steel so that I can shenanigan my way through the occasional fight. Once again, this appears to be something I can't deal with. Because everything is anti-synergy. I have the boots at least. It's all backwards. Oh, I should not have played that one. Noted. That's fine. That'll do. Sure. Do I have an egg? Oh, I got a molten egg, did I? Interesting. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Energy's fun. If I can have a skewer, I have something I can use to get through the odd fight that I wouldn't get through otherwise. Wish I had a guaranteed shot. Maybe I'll get a pair of winged boots in one of these elite fights. Maybe that will happen, yes. Perhaps that is a thing that can occur that isn't a complete stupid idea. Oops. Oh, I might have needed that in this fight. I'll be fine. Cultist potion, not not bad. Giant head, not good. Uh, let's have this on you because I don't think I have the tools required.
Ew. If I end my turn, that just stays, doesn't it? <sighs> Okay. Now I need to draw a card discard tool. There it is. Well, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it? This is free. Um, but maybe I don't want to play it just yet. I want to have exactly four energy, and then I start playing those. That's 70, I can get it all the way to 100. That's a good card for Pennib. That's terrible. Okay, now I need a shop. A shop would be lovely, thank you. Oh! I have I have Centennial Puzzle! I'm I'm through! I'm through! I made it! I'm here! I'm ready! I'm awake! The Pharaoh is in me. And Paper Crane, what a strong, what a strong relic. There aren't many relics as strong as Paper Crane is. I think I'll just roll the dice with this guy. If he gives me the mystical uh, thing, oh well. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can, uh, not get a parasite and then there's a small chance that question room is a shop and I get rid of the last duplicate curse and then the boss doesn't give me another duplicate curse. Maybe all of that can happen. And, and then that, that's, that's just, just a thing of magnitude. A mag, a magnitudal amount of humor. I am experiencing larks as I watch such, such things occur. Oh, no you don't. Yeah, hurt yourself on me. And I will reply by hurting you a lot. And dead. And dead. Don't know if I could do anything about you. Should we find out? I feel like this is a question that, could, that has an answer to it. Can I or can I not do anything about you? Ha! Huh, the answer was I can. 
so I think card draw would really help. There's not much chance of me doing anything. <laughs> oh, that could be something really good, but these are like crucial, crucial parts of the game. Um, okay, discovery could turn into a neutralize. That's not impossible. I'd rather have the opportunity to win than the guarantee of losing for the same reason. Why would I play Writhe? Why would I do that? What fool am I to play such silly cards? So look, this is why Discovery is great. It can give me anything I want at all. All you have to do is pray to the Spire Gods and you'll get precisely the card you want. Why don't I have more than one power? Wait, that wasn't a shop. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Well, whatever. I had fun. Peace pipe. Peace pipe. Peace pipe. So if this guy gives me a normality or a doubt, I'm I'm through. Well, let's find out. I have an opportunity to play a power in this fight. Is that the one I wish to play? Is it worth my time to do so? already here in that situation so yeah let's strike okay this is a good start acrobatics that my footwork will increase his strength which is unfortunate but I will be capable of doing things card draw into crippling cloud which will make me survive the things I am oh I'm not going to die to that at all I'm great because paper crane is the best and this I can just straight up use to kill him on the spot okay one defend, two defense. That might be the tool I need. If I perfect the awakened one, I swear, some some Greek god is getting a sacrifice of flesh tonight. I swear. I <laughs> Moloch will be given what he deserves. Uh, or who, 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 which, whosoever is sufficiently deific for my tastes. Okay. That's unfortunate, though, because, um... Nah, I didn't have enough defense. <laughs> I feel like I can do this, though. This is actually really cool. I'm, I'm... Spe spectacularly pleased. Right. Discard that. Throw this around.
Uh, I have to play one of these. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Throw that out then. I have promised Mo Lockerbur and Doffering. This has to be the one. Okay. So, maybe I should have played Blur on the last turn. That's unfortunate. Um, dodge and roll. Blur. Give me something. Give me anything. Wait, this is it. That's fine. I can do it with this. Defend and defend. Runic Pyramid! <gasps> Incredible. It is not what I was expecting from this fight. To just get through it with this little trouble. Like, only one reset, and... Blimey. Not only that, but... A decent amount of poison going into this man's bloodstream. Because of the... Because of the Snacko Skull that makes all of the Envenom things do two instead of one! <gasps> That's so clever! I hadn't even noticed! Uh, let's... Again, definitely all me, not... Not random chance at all. All part of my master plan. That's 36, which I actually can take. He's gone! Well, that was very entertaining. 1289. I don't care. That there are people with higher scores than me. I did it my way. And that was pretty nice. I got overkill and combo and... Well. What did the people with higher scores than me do? Are they just all people who... Cheated their way to the top? That can't be right. Maybe they just took a more minion heavy route. Well, nevertheless. I'm in the top 100. Which is pretty nice. We'll see what we can do next time as well. See you then.